Hi guys, I'm Jesse, and we're not at Animal Wonders. You've seen and heard a lot about our animals and what Animal Wonders does at our facility, but I thought it was about time to show you what the animals do out and about in the world. We're here at the Bitterroot Public Library getting ready for a presentation. The library has invited us to be part of their summer program for the third year in a row. This year's theme is heroes. I think that's a perfect fit because all of our animals are heroes. They might have had a rough past, but they're here now as ambassadors for their species to teach us how incredibly amazing each animal is in our world. And that's why we work so hard to teach our animals to be ambassadors. We want people to see what wonder and respect for animals looks like, and we want them to want to be a part of it. So far, you've heard the rescue stories, you've seen how we take care of them, and you've learned how we're constantly trying to improve their quality of life. So I'm really excited to be able to share this half of Animal Wonders with you, live public education. My name is Jesse, and this is a Gusto, but you guys can call him Goose. Everyone say hi, Goose. Hi, hi boys and girls. We are the co-founders of Animal Wonders. What we do is we rescue and adopt displaced exotic animals. We take them in, we give them a lifelong home, and we give them the very important job of becoming ambassadors or teachers for their species. Animal Wonders is kind of like a zoo, but instead of you going to the animals, we brought the animals to you. All right, guys, I'm gonna say hi, Cheeks. What is Cheeks? A bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit. He's a Netherland dwarf rabbit. So when I brought him out and you guys said, he's a bunny rabbit, how did you know he was a rabbit? He has a white bushy tail. He has a, a little bushy white tail, yes. What else? He does, he has tall ears right on top of his head. If you were gonna put bunny ears on someone, what would you do? If he didn't have any fur, would you know he was a rabbit? Probably not. He has these things on his body. These are called characteristics. These characteristics on his body help him survive in the wild. I have a saying for you. You guys ready? Repeat after me. Eyes on the side. Eyes on the side. Meant to hide. Meant to hide. Eyes on the front. Eyes on the front. Meant to hunt. I would like two volunteers to come up here to give Cheeks his reward for being so awesome. All right, come on up. He won't bite you, he'll just go after them. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Cheeks was covered in what? Fur. Fur. This next animal Scales. is covered in a completely different body covering. What is Zapper covered in? Feathers. Feathers, there we go. What color is he mostly? Green. green. Why would that be important for him? Why does he need to be green? Camouflage. Camouflage. Do you think he lives on the dark brown floor of the forest? Where? Up in the trees. Up in those green leaves. What is this? It's a nut. Anyone know what kind of nut it is? It's an almond. I need a volunteer, a very strong volunteer. I want you to crack this nut open. What else could you use besides your hands? You could use a shoe. All right. Let's even crack this open. Now she stomped on it with her foot. She, she squeezed it as hard as she could with her hands. There we go, he got into it. Finally, good job, Zapper. All right, give our volunteer a round of applause. Nice work. If you strapped all these feathers on your arms and you ran really fast and you flapped really, really hard, could you fly? Why? We weigh too much? Their bones are so light that they can fly. Now here's a, here's a riddle for you. If we took all of his bones and put them in one pile, and all of his feathers and in another pile, put them in another pile, which would weigh more, bones or feathers? feathers. The feathers will weigh more than his bones. Isn't that incredible? This is Puzzle. Puzzle is a ball python. She's gonna come and lay across your arms. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> This animal 
is our last one. It's our biggest, but it's also our most shy animal. So he's not a capybara, he's not a kangaroo, he's not a rabbit, he's not a deer, he's not a dog. This is a Patagonian cavy. His closest relative is the guinea pig. Now these guys are amazing, not just because they're the third largest rodent in the world, but look at their body. What do you think they can do really, really well? Jump, run, what else? Hear, what else? Smell, Smell. what else? See, a lot of things like to eat cavies. So he has to be on guard. His eyes are on the side. So he's meant to hide. Put it right in front of his nose. There you go, good job. Yum, 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 give him a pet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put chili pepper back. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. All right, he's sheddy, very sheddy. I want you guys you might not remember everything that you learned today, but I want you guys to go out and when you see a new animal in a book, on TV, maybe even out here, right in the wild, I want you to remember that sure they might be cute, like our squirrels, but there's always something more to learn about an animal. So that's my challenge to you this summer. I want you guys to learn something new about an animal that you see. show I loved it so much those kids were amazing I loved how engaged they were with the animals they were really gentle and they had some great questions too that was just great and thank you for coming on an adventure with us this week and if you'd like to go on an adventure with us every week subscribe to our YouTube channel Animal Wonders Montana if you have any questions or comments throughout the week you can find me on Twitter Tumblr and Facebook thanks guys serious signs of illness, which include foaming at the mouth, aggressive behavior, staggering, and poor coat condition. The virus can lay dormant for days or weeks.